Hi there, my name is Itamari and in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make an IoT project with Node MCU using Blink Cloud, okay, with here the mobile version, okay, Blink IoT and the Gmail because we're going to be uh, getting notifications uh, from Gmail through Blink IoT. So the secret um, is an obstruction detector. Um, we've got here a laser, a sensor, okay, that's the uh, LDR sensor a 10k ohm potentiometer so the middle pin of the uh, of my potentiometer is going to uh, pin a0 the analog pin and the outer pin on my right side is connected to the side of the sensor in the same outer pin goes to ground now the um, the left the outer pin on my left side goes to 3.3 volts okay okay I'm going to put that back okay now when something prevents um, the um, the sensor from receiving the light okay uh, we're gonna be receiving a notification uh, on our Gmail okay up through blink IOT now to do that we first create a blink cloud account after we create an account we create our first project so that's our project for today now let's get started first i'm going to show you how to create a blink cloud account okay using our laptop okay so let's get started we go to google and we type blink cloud we click on the second link uh, platform we click on start free so we provide our email address we agree to term and we, we click sign up now you gotta confirm your email address so go to gmail and uh, confirm it after that you create a password and click next you give a name to your profile and uh, click done and congrats now we're gonna create a new template click new template and um, give a name to your um, template I call it obstruction detection the hardware is ESP8266 and uh, the connection is Wi-Fi and then click done now go to data streams new data streams and virtual pin name of our uh, pin virtual pin is obstruction the pin is v0 the type is double i, I pick double and uh, the mean value is zero the max uh, 1000 so i click create 
okay go to event click on add new event the event name is alert obstruction detected the type is warning i can even pick a color and i go to here and uh, i'm going to receive each minute a notification and i enable show event send event to timeline and apply tag and now i go to notifications and i enable that email to the owner i enable that enable no notifications management okay and um, after that i click on create now i go to web dashboard and uh, i search for for gauge okay i pick that and uh, i drag that onto here uh, and i'm going to configure it okay the name is going to be obstruction i pick the pin the, the virtual pin okay and uh, i say and uh, i save it okay guys now click save and click again on save okay to save everything we have just done now go to search okay go to search now click on a new device click on from template now add the template okay click on that and uh, add the uh, obstruction detection 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 and click on create okay so this will uh, automatically generate uh, this code okay and uh, we're gonna need the now go to sketch include the library add zap library so that uh, we can include a blink library i'm going to provide okay the library on the video description i've already installed it okay guys so let's move forward now go to file click on preferences and uh, on additional boards manager you're going to paste uh, this link that i'm going to provide on the video description copy that and paste that onto here i don't know in here and click ok and ok go to tools boards and click on boards manager on boards manager um, type esp8266 and uh, install the the latest version go to blink cloud and uh, cap the uh, authentication code and paste it on uh, uh, in your program okay that's the authentication co code okay token this is our, our program okay when you did this stuff that's the esp uh, the node mcu library uh, blink simple uh, library that's the uh, the name of my wi-fi the password okay the uh, ldr sensor connected to um a zero the uh, analog pin the data i assign it to zero that's the uh, analog read function to produce the data and uh, that and the v0 it, I, I think it, is going to get that data value and uh, we, we need to print that data so that uh, we can uh, get the uh, i think threshold uh, value okay the condition to trigger the event okay now that's the uh, blink log event function make sure that uh, the the second parameter matches uh, the uh, event uh, name and the first parameter matches the event code okay so that uh, it can work in void setup we say that um, the sensor is our input uh, serial begin to print out the data variable value 
The Blink uh, Begin function contains the authentication code, Wi-Fi password, and a Wi-Fi name. And here we call the sender sensor function and the loop function runs forever. Now here we pick, we choose the board, okay, node MCU. Okay, so we, we go to tools to board, okay, ESP8266 and we pick the right board and uh, we send the program, okay, the port is con3. Now, first of all, we need to find out the best value of data variable, okay, um, so that uh, when uh, when the data, when uh, uh, the variable data is greater than this value, okay, uh, we get the no notification, okay, through Gmail, okay, um, a message, okay. Uh, so now we need to find the best value for our if condition okay um as you as you can see here if data greater than 999 uh, but uh, here we need to replace 999 uh, with um the value that um we're going to find okay um Okay, guys, uh, the best value. Um, according to the environment, okay. Uh, okay, the program is uploading. Um, more second okay now uh, we need to find the best value okay guys okay According to my environment, our best value is um, is 165. Okay, guys. Now, time to download uh, the Blink IoT uh, mobile app. Okay, and uh, search for it. Okay, uh, and. Uh, then you click on it and uh, log in into your account that uh, you've just created put your email address and uh, your password and then you, you're gonna uh, click on um, on login okay and you see here your project the project that uh, you've just created now go ahead and uh, search for the gauge okay click here and uh, click on your project okay click on plus and uh, search for go gauge widget box okay and uh, you drag on to the middle and uh, you can change it okay and uh, you click on it to configure it okay you choose the uh, um, the visual pin and uh, you give it to it a title okay I'm going to type obstruction okay guys the color and the size okay of the title of the title okay and uh, now we go back okay um uh we've just uploaded the code now we go to blink iot 
we click on it we can see here our project okay abstraction detection we click on it and uh, we can see uh, this one 